Hi Gemini and happy birthday to those of you who have birthdays coming up or who have recently had birthdays. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-June to the end of June 2022. And it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Gemini. All right, you might be watching for yourself or maybe you're cross-watching for somebody else. Either way, the roles can be reversed. Also, this reading is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. All right, Gemini, let's see what is going on with you for the second half of June 2022. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For the situation, we have the Four of Swords crossed by the Page of Cups. Okay, so there's something here. There's healing that is happening, but I'm also getting the sense that somebody is not fully expressing their true deep feelings um, in this connection, and that might just be challenging the healing process a little bit more, okay? Um, so yeah, it could be you or it could be the other person or maybe even the both of you. But I feel like deep emotional communication is something that might be lacking a little bit at the moment. And it's like it's needed in order for this healing to continue. Um, let's see, for you we have the Six of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so... This is a person that I feel like, you know, you you had a lot of nostalgia for, and maybe you still do. For some of you, there may have been some kind of a reconnection recently, where it felt like, you know, you either um, came into contact if you were in no contact, or there was like some kind of a reuniting, or maybe just things um, began to feel a little bit more like, you know, what they felt like a while back. Um, either way, it still feels like there's this essence of nostalgia for something here in terms of this person, because I also see you being very um, stressed at the moment concerning what might happen with this person or what is happening with this person, but you are moving towards putting in some effort, I feel, into resolving this concerning your own self. Let's see what's going on with them. We have the Ace of Cups, Strength, and the Hierophant. Well, their Ace of Cups is right under your Six of Cups. There's definitely a, a very, very strong connection here between the two of you where there is mutual love, mutual emotions. Um, this person has very genuine love towards you. And it's like, wow, strength and the hierophant. Um, I don't know exactly what's going on here, but I feel like this person is definitely either being very patient with you or trying to be trying to be very understanding or just trying to find the strength here for something, which again, it's like, Whatever that something is, it's something that may have required some patience and understanding, if not towards you, then towards the situation or towards something to do with their own selves. And I do see them moving towards leveling up, um, either learning something about, about themselves, I feel like they're getting to this place where they are wiser, but also wanting something committed here. So it's actually looking very positive for them. But again, we're going to clarify and see exactly. For the potential outcome here, we have the Four of Cups. Okay, so there is a little bit of disappointment. I don't know yet on whose end, um, but we'll see. Let's let's clarify. Definitely don't. I don't feel like this is over. I just feel like there might be somebody might be left feeling a little bit disappointed with how things turn out just for this short time period. Um, Let's see, let's clarify that Four of Swords with the Page of Cups. The 
Five of Swords, the Empress, and Death. What is happening here? It feels like there's been um, some kind of an ending, but that's not really an ending. Or maybe something has just really, really shifted um, in this connection. And that's why there's this healing, but it's almost like, you know, there hasn't been closure. I feel like it's the closure that is needed. Or if it's not closure like for, for this ending, because I really don't see an ending in the rest of this reading. Um, it's to really just emotionally express feelings concerning some kind of a transition, some kind of a major, major shift that has taken place, which might resemble an ending, but isn't quite an ending, something along those lines. Um, whatever that is, it's like somebody feels betrayed. Somebody feels like they have either been mistreated or that, you know, it just, it just feels like it hasn't been re resolved. Um... However, I do see you still still healing despite all of this. You're still healing, but it's like that communication, it's like it's needed. It's needed to continue on this healing process, as I said before. One sec, because I did drop a card. And just taking a look at what it is, it is the High Priestess. Um, yeah, which is telling me again that, you know, certain things are kind of being kept inside rather than being vocalized or, you know... Um, externalized so let's see let's clarify that six of cups in your energy oh the four of cups again and the sun okay so you you either had as i said you either had some kind of a reconciliation with this person in some form or another. Um, and there was something very disappointing about that. That's why you're now in this stressed state. There's something disappointing about this reconnecting. Um, for some of you, it might just be on an energetic level, you know, like this person just coming back into your energy field, like you thinking a lot about them, having that nostalgia. And basically what the reason why it's so disappointing is because... Um, on the one hand, you feel like this is the person that you would want to be with. You feel like, you know, this this has so much potential to make you happy. But something's happening where it's like just, it's like that isn't manifesting um, for whatever reason. Um, and just to call out some of the signs we have here, because I forgot to do that. Um, we do have uh, Leo, we do have Taurus, and we do have Leo again. So some of you might be dealing with one of those signs. We also have Scorpio. And sometimes I do forget to call out the signs, so feel free to leave comments, <laughs> to maybe to help other viewers if you see that I didn't call out a particular sign. All right, let's see that Nine of Swords. And we have the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, your emotions are all over the place. Um, it, it almost feels like, you know, on the one hand, you feel so much, so much deep emotion for this person, but it's like things are all over the place. Things feel like they're all over the place, like they're moving quickly in one direction and then maybe they're moving quickly in a different direction. But I feel like this is mostly like your emotions being on, on a roller coaster. And there's also a message here about you trying to, I feel like you want to express your truth. You want to express the truth of your emotions and your feelings, but it's almost as if something is either preventing you from doing that or either that or you just feel like you can't. Maybe this person is not available um, to receive what you have to say. Or it could just be that, you know, you, it's just feeling like it's not, it's not getting anywhere. Or maybe it's not being reciprocated. I don't know. Let's see the Eight of Pentacles. The Tower and 
Temperance. Okay, glad to see Temperance here. Okay, so that is Sagittarius. I feel like you're going to focus... You're moving towards focusing on your own balance here. I feel like there's going to be like, um, there's a major like shakeup that is happening. Something is stirring you up. Um, and it's, it's for the best. I do feel like it's related to this Four of Cups. So it could be that there's something happening here that is going to... Um, because we have the Four of Cups here in the beginning as well. That that disappointment that feels like it just happens maybe over and over again. Something big is happening. Something big is happening, which, yes, it might be a disappointment, but it's like that disappointment is actually going to jolt the situation in a way where it's going to get you to focus on finding your own balance. And I feel like that is then going to shift things in a better way for either for this connection or for your own self or both again roles can be reversed okay so do keep that in mind um it's not a bad disappointment that's the thing like i feel like this because it's attached to this eight of pentacles and and temperance which is all about balance so i'm really getting that you know whatever that is it's going to be like okay you know what like i i need to change something here in the way that I'm working towards this or away from this or about it in whatever way. It's, it's, I feel like it's not going to be, um, it's not going to affect you so negatively. Like that disappointment, it's, it's like minor. It's nothing compared to this nine of swords that you might currently be going through. Okay, so let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the Ace of Cups in their energy. Mm. The Page of Cups, which is the card that we had in the challenge position, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so there it is. Um, I actually feel like you both might be kind of hold it, holding back or not being able to express yourselves, but I definitely, because I see that for you here. But I feel like, you know, maybe you have that intention to do so, but the other person is holding back. Or it could be vice versa. I don't know who started it. But somebody is more closed off to the emotional expression. And then so the other person is kind of like forced to not really be able to communicate in that way either. Because, well, you know, communication it requires the involvement of both people. So if one of these people are closed off to it, well then, you know, naturally it, it, it can't happen. It has to be reciprocal. So it's like, that's what's happening here. Um, I definitely feel like this person has a lot to say. There's a lot that they're feeling here, but it's like they're stubbornly holding back either from admitting something or from just really expressing something deeper concerning their emotions of whatever might be happening or of their emotions towards you you know, depending on your situation. Let's see strength. The Queen of Wands and Judgment. Wow. They have really big energies here. Um, well, you do too, but I feel like for them, there's just a lot of a lot a lot that they're learning and like major things happening for them um for you too with that tower yeah i guess it's almost the same um this person is really needing to dig deep to find their their strength in terms of either communicating or in terms of some kind of action based on their feelings though For others of them, it could even just be concerning patience. It really depends on your situation. Um, as I said before, patience and understanding. Whatever the case, though, this person is learning all about strength, big time. It feels like, you know, they're, they're even having a revelation. Um, feeling like, you know, being reborn almost with this newfound strength that is coming in. Let's 
see the Hierophant. The Seven of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, wow. Um, two different messages here. It's really going to depend on your situation. Um, but I feel like this person is, first of all, learning a lot concerning happiness, concerning family, concerning love, concerning fulfillment, like what it is that they want and how it is that they get there. They're learning a lot about how they have prevented that from happening in the past, like how they may have blocked that out. And then for others of you, this is also about standing up for one's own beliefs, discovering their own beliefs, finding that strength to stand up for themselves for their own beliefs, or even setting boundaries, either with you, okay, again, depending on the situation, or with other people. In some way, though, that, that relates to you, okay, in order for them to actually be able to move towards that happiness. So again, this person definitely wants this commitment with you, and they have either been standing back because maybe you were closed off or there's been some kind of like you know inhibited emotional expression here but I do get again it's, it's I don't know who started it but it's on both sides so and then for some of you yeah it's this person um, really having to set boundaries and, and their standards for the commitment that it is that they want either towards you or against others that, you know, may not agree. Um, all right, let's see the Four of Cups. For the potential outcome and we have ooh, the Ten of Swords, the Three of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, something big is coming up. Something big is going to happen where, again, as I said, you know, it's going to lead to some disappointment for you. I feel like, you know, somebody is going to feel the pain of whatever this is, but that is actually what is going to push things forward in order for there to be um, something happier, something more lighthearted in order to be able to find what what needs to be balanced and how to cope. I feel like there's some kind of a coping mechanism that is like missing here. It's like the missing link or the missing piece to the puzzle um, for this connection. And that's what what is needed in order for this to heal. Part of that is the communication, but I feel like there might be something else as well that might be just more specific to each of you. So whatever that is, it's like it's presenting itself here. It's leading to somebody to feel, you know, like a loss of this or, you know, that there's pain or that, you know, this is this is done. But again, that's happening in order for this to be brought to the surface so that it can be healed, so that there can be this emotional expression and so that there can be a healthier coping mechanism rather than just, you know, blocking out our emotional expression. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I would love to see what happens after this. All right, Gemini, let's see if this resonated. Let's get the final message for you. And we have the full moon in Aries, a fairy climax approaches. Yeah, it's, it's here. It's like right around the corner. And Again, you know, it might feel a little intense or a little like uh, uncomfortable, but again, it's it's leading to to this healing and to healthier coping mechanisms. So it's actually opening up the door um, for the potential of this connection to be more healthy and to have that ton of cups if that's what you want. All right, Gemini, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.